Hey guys, Cajun Reseller here. Back at you with another wet sold video. We are now in West Virginia. You can see some of the sights of it. Uh, yeah, this is leaving Ohio, going to West Virginia, and then I'm gonna be going to Pittsburgh for a day. <laughs> Just a day. But uh, I had to go see a friend in Pittsburgh. Y'all might see that person in this video. But let's start out with some wet solds to begin this video. First up is this Resistol hat. Uh, Ken actually picked, Ken SSK Promo actually picked up one of these hats uh, while we were going to a private pick, which you will probably see in some upcoming videos. But this hat sold for $80 plus shipping. Not a bad hat sale there. Next up, some pumpkin spice sensationals. Oops, see them, it's 45. <laughs> These sensationals sold for 50, or $30 plus shipping. I think I paid like 25 cents each for them. So I'll probably end to them about 10 to $15, somewhere in that range if I had to guess. Next up is uh, Voldemort from Harry Potter. Harry Potter terrible impersonation uh but it's a terrible accent i guess uh this i think i paid like seven or eight bucks at walmart for and it sold for 45 dollars free shipping but it should ship in it i think if those fit in 10 by 8 by 6 boxes so they shouldn't be too bad to ship next up is a blankets beyond plush a little lovey blanket that little kids when you know have usually probably someone lost it uh, i got this free from leanne random chick picker a while ago in jacksonville florida sold for 15 dollars free shipping so those are the sales I'm going to cover for right now. Uh, the roads are, roads are kind of windy, <laughs> as is West Virginia and all this area, really. So I'm going to sign off and then come back with some more sales in a little bit. So we are somewhat in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You know you're in a hilly area whenever there's a truck ramp pull off, whenever the trucks basically run out of their brakes and just run into these gravel pits. Never seen it happen before. Don't ever want to see it happen if there's a truck behind me. But uh, yeah, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Let's go over a couple more sales. Next up is the Hirachi Shoes Safari. These, I paid zero. They came out of a storage unit. They sold for $30 plus shipping. The Scary Creepy Peeper. This guy I got at the Abita Springs Townwide Yard Sale. I think I paid like two bucks for him, maybe a dollar, somewhere in that range. He sold for $30, I think plus shipping. I'm not sure. LSU Tigers Button Up Jersey. Um, I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale and sold for $30. So that's a couple more sales while in Pittsburgh traffic. As you can see, traffic is picking up, unfortunately. So this is my lunch after going to the Benz. Pizza, regular food. KJ over here yes. has salad. salad with french fries on it. With french fries on it. Gross. It's delicious. That is gross. It's perfect. So we're at the Goodwill Benz. I found a squishable. What'd KJ find? Nothing. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. We found a squishable with no price on it. We'll see what happens when we get to the register. <laughs> So I went to buy that Squishable and KJ's thrift store, a Goodwill, <laughs> look at the camera, her thrift store would not sell it to me. There was no price on the Squishable and I did not buy it. So I stood in line for like 10 minutes for them to say you can't buy this item. It was all my fault. Go Goodwill in Pittsburgh. So we're supposed to be buying stuff for thrift stores and KJ decides to try on some shoes that are $20. <laughs> So it looks like she's gonna be buying shoes instead of buying money stuff stop, to make money on. Stop documenting the Huh? Stop documenting the evidence. Oh, I'm documenting it. I just need to go hide the other shoe so she can't find it, then she can't buy it. Coming me putting it in I my car. I am right now. Uh, in my car. Alright, so I got got a this huge bag of, of build a bear. bear. For so five five or was it half price? It was half price, so okay. I paid five. Okay, five dollars. All that build a bear stuff. For like three pounds of build a bear. <laughs> My favorite purchase. And then this is for me. <laughs> the trick is to stay alive. Halloween with Michael Myers on the as the back hit, right? Correct. Yes. <laughs> That's the back hit. It's Pretty perfect. cool sweatshirt. It's adorable. And that one's just a regular this t-shirt. Is, yeah, okay. Just a regular. <laughs> That's what we found at this Goodwill. Oh, American Thrift Center, not Goodwill. <laughs> Goodwill's bad. They made they wouldn't let sell me the item. <laughs> Here is the Pittsburgh Hotel Tour. Staying here one night and then headed home tomorrow. I got the TV, the bed, and the outside. This is the same exact hotel I stayed in whenever I went to the Saints game in November whenever I came out to Pittsburgh. So there's my car out there. You can see the blue Mazda. It's loaded down with stuff. Hopefully it's safe. This is a pretty safe place, I think, spot. It was last time at least. TV, like I said, you can see me. Uh, and then this, <laughs> I didn't have this last time. I had a bathtub last time, but I got the shower and the toilet, and that's it for the room. The room tour for Pittsburgh. I'll have one more hotel tour before this ends. So we are back in West Virginia now, about to be back in Ohio. 
figured I'd cover some more sales. I left Pittsburgh. Uh, <laughs> had a ton of fun. It was just one day, but I figured since I'm only three hours away from Pittsburgh, uh, when I was in Ohio for the meetup and the yard sale stuff, I had to go see KJ. So I hope you all enjoyed some of the footage of that. Um, if you want to see more of that, I put out a video on Thursday showing what we did and where we went and what kind of stuff we did. So still in West Virginia right now. <laughs> the car doesn't like climbing these hills. Uh, but let's cover a couple more sales. First up is a Logan Squishmallow a Nutcracker. He sold for 25 plus ship. I probably paid 13 or 14, so I'm not making too much money on him. Next up is a Bose OEM Remote. It sold for like $9. I think I got that for free at some point uh, at a pick where they just gave me this, throw in, threw in some stuff for free. Another Voldemort, if that's how you say his name, inflatable Harry Potter. Sold for 46, free ship. I paid seven at Walmart for him. Um, also sold a GameCube for parts only. This I think I got this at a yard sale for like three bucks. I sold one of the games um, for a hundred dollars. Pokemon Coliseum, I think it was. So this is just free to me at this point. So paid zero. Sold for I think 42 plus shipping. Next up is a Red Sox baseball card commemorative set. I got it for a dollar at a yard sale. Sold for I think like fifteen dollars plus shipping. So that's some of the sales while in West Virginia. Again, I'm in the last, the last time I was in West Virginia for like four minutes. I've been in West Virginia for about 15 or 20 minutes this time, but I'm about to be back in Ohio, so not really staying in West Virginia very long whenever I'm uh, on these. And now we got some big trucks trying to merge ahead of me, so I'll focus on the road while uh, before I come back with some more sales. So I was driving along in Ohio, and for the first time ever, I got pulled over by the cops. <laughs> How many of y'all have never been pulled over by the cops? Um, they said that I was swerving, doing erratic lane changes, so... I don't think I was. My car has these little sensors that tell me if I am, and I'm. it didn't ever go off. And they said I was riding the berm, which is, you know, like the rumble strips. And I never even heard that once when I was driving. So they let me go. I, I don't know why they pulled me over. Uh, at one point, there was a cop behind me in the right lane, so I got over in the left lane to let him by because he wasn't going around me. So I figured I'd just go get over into the left lane let him go by me. So maybe that prompted them to pull me over. I don't know, but that was a first for me. Um, it was pleasant. They just asked for you know right license, re registration, and insurance, and they let me on my way. So, another first time uh, I've ever been pulled over. Here is the final hotel room for this trip. Starting out with the bathroom and the shower. Pretty nice shower overall. Uh, got a king bed right there. Ironing board that folds down. Two lights for some reason. Uh, the TV. Chick Fil A is for dinner. Uh, there's even a fridge in here, and this one's only $86, so not too bad. And the little office area, and then a little TV or a little uh, lamp and nightstand over there. Not too bad. So I made it to Mississippi. This is Jackson, Mississippi. The Goodwill bins are right there. I'm going to go in there and just look around. If you ever go to the Jackson Goodwill bins, usually it's all clothing, so it's really not that great for me. I like hard goods, but let's cover a couple sales while we're here. This Mickey Mickey and Minnie cake toppers sold for $15 plus shipping. They're free to me at this point. Um, this cotton beanie boo, I paid 65 cents for this at Walgreens, um, and at clearance and it sold for $9 plus shipping. So not bad. Nike dry fit built in bra shirt paid zero sold for $7 plus shipping. I was just trying to get rid of it. Happy to get rid of it. And then this Hannibal will Funko sold for like 60 bucks plus shipping. I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. I think this was actually in Oklahoma. I paid a dollar for it. It's one of the good finds I had in Oklahoma. I didn't have too many, but this was one of them and it sold for 60. I still have some more sales to go right now. As I'm filming this, I think I'm at 43 orders to ship out when I get back home. So yeah, I still got some more to show y'all. I'll probably show these whenever I, whenever I actually do get home, but uh, if not, then I'll see y'all back in a second. So I got one item at the Goodwill Benz in Jackson. It's this little guy right here. It's one of the little baby donkeys from Shrek, where donkey and dragon had babies, and this is one of them. So they gave it to me for free. So maybe I'll take back what I said about the Jackson Benz. But still, they didn't have many hard goods in there. Um, all they had was clothing, which isn't my forte. But since I was on the way home, I figured I'd stop and just make it a pit stop on the way and see what I could find. So I made it somewhat home, at least, to my parents' house. <laughs> this is their street. Uh, let's cover some more sales. Right here on my handy dandy notebook. This Fortnite 13 character sold for $40 plus shipping. I paid five for these at a consignment sale, so a good sale there. Soft Surroundings tunic shirt sold for 21 plus shipping. It's free to me from my mom. Always the best sales. Windows X platform or XP Home. It's like a new and sealed version of XP Home. Paid zero, came from a storage unit, sold for $20 plus shipping. 
And then also this 1984 Olympic jacket, I paid five for this, sold for $40. So that's it for a couple more sales and then I'm gonna show y'all Jenna if she's not crazy when I see her. She doesn't even know me. She doesn't even know me. You don't know me anymore, huh? Yeah, I knew that was coming. So I made it back home. Let's cover a couple more sales that I already shipped out. Y'all can look at my inventory while y'all are doing that. <laughs> These Obsidian Nike shoes sold for $50 plus shipping. They came out of a storage unit. Um, also, these Just Dawn Raptor shorts paid five. They sold for $46 plus shipping. Y'all can look at all my, that's all my plush collection. There's Scarlet up there. Um, also, these Ben 10 figures paid zero, sold for 17. Um, I'm going to run through these real quickly. I don't care about these. Uh, this Nike tank top paid zero, sold for 10. Chico's blue iCat shirt, zero for my mom, 16 plus ship. Beanie Boo Halloween paid like 50 cents or something like that each for these, sold for $25 plus shipping. And then uh, I'm not sure what that says, <laughs> but I pay, it sold for 14 and I paid a dollar for it. So whatever that is, I'll show y'all. But here are the sales uh, that I still have and haven't shipped out technically yet. This Shaggy Dog plush paid like a dollar or two, sold for like 12 plus ship. Nadia Narwhal sold on Amazon for 10. The first Amazon sale I've had since I've been back. Sold for like, like I said, $10 plus shipping. This LSU hat, the only Mercari sale I've had so far since it turned my store back on. Sold for like 19 free ship. Probably paid a dollar or less. And this little Star Trek the official Star Trek Insignia collection, Let's see if you can get it out here, it's like a sterling silver little Star Trek thing. Sold for like 30 or $32, somewhere in that range. So that's it for, I guess, pre-weekend sales. Got a lot of weekend sales going out, but I'm going to wait until Monday to ship this out because I'm pretty tired right now and just feeling a little run down after all the road trip stuff. So I'm trying to uh, get some rest and also ship some items while I'm at it. Here is my lineup of weekend sales. Just going to show them to you all this from this view, since I already did everything else in this perspective, I might switch back to the other angle for next week's video, but this is Family Guy DVDs. It's kind of a special edition with the Stewie head. This sold for $27 plus shipping on eBay. Poshmark sale, Combo Panda. I think this sold for like 12 bucks plus shipping on Poshmark. Shipping is always plus shipping on Poshmark. This Squirrel sold on Poshmark for I think 18 plus ship. Nick the Squirrel. Mercari sale, Daphne Golf Club cover sold for 19 free shipping. On eBay, I sold a golf club cover. This came from the 127 sale, paid five for this. Y'all see this in an upcoming video. I think I filmed at that sale. Maybe I didn't, I can't remember for sure. But it sold for $44.99 plus shipping. So UGA, Georgia Bulldogs, still has the tags. Good sale there for sure. Wheelie Sneaky, paid a dollar for this at Walmart. Sold for like seven bucks plus shipping. So a little bit of profit there. Got four hats going out. Chicago Cubs throwback edition. This sold on eBay, even with a little stain there for like $26. I think this one is free shipping. I've had it listed for a while. It's American Needle. American Needle is a good brand to pick up. If you can pick up hats for a dollar or two and they have that brand, I would pick them up. Oakland Athletics, little old school logo as well with the elephant on it. I think it's a youth size, which is why I don't, only sold for $10, but still $10. I think they paid like 50 cents or a dollar for it. This is a cool hat. Only sold for like 12 bucks free shipping, so it's not really worth very much. I thought it was worth a little bit more than I found it at first, but it's Muppets Animal. This LSU hat sold for 14 free ship. It's a National Champions official locker room edition. This track phone or straight talk wireless home phone. This sold for, I think it sold for like 40 or 50 bucks, somewhere in that range. Good sale there. I got those for five bucks at Walmart at one point. Junior from VeggieTales. This is asparagus from VeggieTales Classics, as you can see. Sold for $16. Two gloves. This glove, Mizuno Catcher's Mitt. Got this at the 127. I think I paid three bucks for it, maybe. Um, there's a one yard sale there where they had a ton of gloves. She said she already told a ton of them. I don't know why someone left that one behind. But this one sold for 55 bucks plus shipping. This glove I've had for way longer than 127, but it finally sold. It's actually in pretty good condition. I think I paid four or five. Sold for 27 plus shipping. It's RBG4. So, you know, it looks a quality glove, but that one looks like it's way worse condition, but. Sometimes the brand makes all the difference there. Sometimes people like the older gloves too. That means they're broken in, so they're easier to wear. So usually whenever you first get a glove when you're playing baseball, it takes a while to break in the glove, which means, you know, wear it a lot. Denim Arin. Y'all saw this in the Goodwill Benz video in Columbus with Jimmy Old School Flips, OSF Picker, and Sonia. Sold for $60. Pays for the Benz trip, obviously. Muffin. 
This one sold for $32.99 plus shipping. Got this at the $127 sale as well. So I'm already gotten some sales out of $127. I figured this one to sell right away. I saw it at the sale for $2. Had to pick it up because I know I've sold this one new with tags for like $50. Bucks. So I figured used would be worth a little bit of something. These just sold on Mercari. These are uh, Furby McDonald's toys. Sold for like $23, I think $23. Um, free shipping. So it should fit in a 10 by 8 but 6 bucks. I'm not going to pull all these out, but sold like seven or eight of these little magnets. Uh, these are gargoyle magnets. They sold within a day of listing probably, but it's like these little magnets. Um, they were just made in China. Found them in the bins in Mobile when I was there one time. $38 plus shipping for those. <laughs> Zozo. This sold on Amazon for like 60 bucks plus shipping. She'll cost, you know, probably 15 to 20 to ship, but still, I will take that. Grace the Ghost sold for seven bucks plus shipping. I think I paid more than that. I paid, I think I paid... Oh, I don't have the tag on there anymore. I think I paid like $6.99 for her, so I'm not really going to make much money on her at all. As you can see, her tag's kind of flipped around, so maybe I need to go find... I need to find another one. I do have multiples of her, so maybe I need to get one that actually has the tag the right direction. Uh, this sold for $13. TDK me Blank Media. Can't be shipped media mail, but this will go ground advantage. The person sent me a big message saying, please ship uh, with extra padding, bubble wrap, all that stuff. So they're probably drop shipping these to somebody. That's what that, that usually means. These I got at a sale a long time ago. They're magic ring, or rings. David Ginn, I think, is the magician that these are made by or made for, whatever. These sold for $30 plus shipping. Two more sales. Rocky from uh, Rocky Balboa. I think that's what it means. Rocky 45th. Yeah, Rocky Balboa. These two Funko Pops sold for like $30. They'll ship in a 10 by 8 by 6 bucks. These came out of a storage unit. Uh, the one that I got, that Woodcock Johnson book that sold for a thousand bucks, these two came in that unit. And last but not least, this Ninja Turtles little Mega Constructs, or Mega Blocks, not Mega Constructs, sold for $30 plus shipping. Um, and that's it for sales for the week. So thanks for coming along, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment with your favorite sale from this whole week of adventures. Mine for today would be either the glove. Actually, no, mine's going to be the denim Marin because who would have thought that this thing would have sold? <laughs> and then like I, I think I showed you on the video, Sonya actually found another one. So I should have kept looking. And when I found this first one, I should have kept looking for more of these because it sold within a day or two of the listing. So yeah, don't forget to leave a like, comment for it sale. Subscribe, not subscribe. Thanks for watching.